Oh. Good night, guys. Bye, Bye Pat. Pat. Thanks for calling in. Oh, wait, but Dan is calling in. Dan, Mystery Dan, and I don't even know. He's calling about a date he has this weekend. Hmm. Ooh, maybe he's nervous about it. Dan, are you there? Hey, Chrissy, how's it going? Hello, Dan. How are you this fine Monday? I am good. Are you Irish? Am I what? No. Okay, I guess not. I was just going to see if you were Irish. No, uh, I mean, I mean, I'm American, but I got some Irish in there, yeah. So. Well, you're talking Don't like a retard. It. That's why we weren't. No. Sure. <laughs> we weren't sure where you were from. Okay, what's popping, Dan? Uh, so I went on a date with a, a lady uh, that I've had the hot for since I was like twelve. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, your your wait, babysitter? she's 12? She's got a real pedo all of a sudden. <laughs> How old are you? Uh, I was 12. She's like, probably like nine years older than I am. Oh, and you've been into oh. her since you were 12. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Wait, has, she, has, she been, has she been grooming you? Yeah. I You're would. nine years younger than her, you and you've been into her since you were 12? Yeah, yeah. So like you were into her since you were, you were into her since you were three? No, no. Since he was he was twelve. I was twelve. And she was like nineteen. Probably. He was twelve, and she was right. twenty-one. We've already gone too far without Have knowing what the her lips are. Right, is. children are sexual. We got her boobs before we go any further. Uh, they are thirty-four Ds. Okay, all right. Now we're talking. Let's go. Okay. I'm listening. I'm familiar with that. So, story. how did you know her when you were twelve? Doesn't matter. She's got. The uh, so she was like one of the resident hot chicks of my super small town. Mm. Like her. What's your town? Sister. Uh, you've never heard of it. I live in Montana. I've heard of oh. Montana. <laughs> no, he, <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't know the town habit. is what he means. It's not like a story. Yeah. I know almost all the states, okay? <laughs> Can't get past me. Uh, I live really close to Canada. We'll just say that. Mm. Oh. Because okay. she's like, I watched Hannah Montana. Yeah. I've seen it. Look at Canada. What's going on I've right seen now? seen maps. Yeah. Frankie, what's the weather like in Montana? Yeah, Montana. It's a snowstorm in Montana right now. It's going to turn into a blizzard <laughs> north of Tulsa Tuesday. It's going to hit from Winnipeg to Manitoba on Wednesday. Is he, is he, Frankie? For the next two days in Winnipeg on Wednesday, April 13th, Thursday, April 14th, on Good Friday, April 15th, it's still going to be really, really windy in Winnipeg with blowing snow. Is he right, Frankie? Dan? Yeah. I mean, it's always windy as Montana, so yeah. Okay. Safe yeah. bet. All right, so you went on a date with this girl. No. But anyway, so uh, I went out on a date with this gal, and uh, it was fucking horrible. Oh, no. Oh, no. What happened? So, like, uh, it turns out, like, all the shit she's into is just shit that I could not give a half a fuck about, like... The British royal. Like Britney I'm Spears being pregnant mind. again, <laughs> or Miley like Cyrus' mom getting divorced, or Lizzo's new cheeky leggings line. <laughs> uh, I think. I mean, she might be into the Lizzo stuff. She's like super into like, like really like. Uh, I don't know. Like basic chick it? shit. Like yeah, you totally. said you totally. said um, the like, British royals. She likes all the uh, like pumpkin spice lattes. I'm sure. She, I mean, she's okay. into the British. I think royals. that's fine. She's about them. We're dealing with a basic a basic here. Okay. Yeah. But she's got 34 Ds, so yeah, can right. you overlook yeah, that? Yeah, that's what she's into. Gives a shit. Well, she's also got three kids, too. Like, that's uh, range uh, like, 22. Yeah. Yeah. No. Like, she has everything. How old are these you kids? You should have like, led with that. Are they all in their 30s? What are we yeah, talking about? how old about? are they? <laughs> are they developing feelings? Are any of them hot? Just kidding. Uh, uh, no. So, 22, like... Maybe like fifteen and like seven, so like they range. She has a twenty-two-year-old offspring. Yeah. How old like is she? Like, How old is she? Like forty-one or two, maybe. Let's talk about the twenty-two-year-old. What does she look like? Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, so this I is mean, a, you've been into this girl since off, you were twelve, and now this is like twenty-something years later, and you finally got it. Yeah. Hell I mean, yeah. Twenty years later. That's playing the long yeah. game. Okay, that is a long game. No, so you, but, like, so get this, like, when I was in high school, I worked at Pizza Hut, and she was, like, one of the shift managers, like, managers. Oh, Pizza Hut. So, slut. like, everybody wanted to fuck this. Like, you wanted to fill like, her crust. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was definitely stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, can I give some advice to our friend Dan? Yes. Um, girls won't be into what you're into. That's yeah. how that works. That's not true. 
Girls are, are into like weird bullshit. That's not true. It's cool. No, you get a lot of Oh yeah, yeah. I also watch true. Below Deck. That sounds amazing. Oh yeah, what happened on Below Deck? Oh okay, great. That's now, what you do, and then you get laid. When you're date, when your dating, she'll like go to the Yankee game with you, and then when you're in the relationship, she only wants to watch the Kardashians. Yeah. <laughs> or when you're on the team, she'll boo from the stands. Oh yeah. I like when the boys take over wet spot. <laughs> oh my god, it's the man spot. Chode spot. No, taint spot. Taint spot. Yes. Women have a taint. Imp spot. That's called the vagina, Matt Marin. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what was the thing that she was into that turned you off the most? Uh, so, like, definitely the royal stuff. That was just awful. Yeah, that, I agree. She's also, funny. like, a cat lady, and I'm vehemently allergic to cats. So mm. much so that I forgot to take a decongestant, you know, like an allergy pill. Uh, my eye was watering like I was getting pissed. All like, right, time like, out. Like, this is on you. Of course she's a cat person. She's a girl. She likes cats. What? This is not you, buddy. It's not always the case. Yes, of course it is. I would you want never. to get laid, take your fucking allergy If I were single, I would never get a cat. It would never occur to me to have a cat. Jesse, stop shooting at my point. All right, you're, you're ruining my whole get a dog. Here, but you get my point. Dan. She's like, girls aren't into weird stuff. Look at my three papers about Lizzo, Britney Spears. And, uh... I'm just trying to find topics in case we're at a, we're at a lull. I'm sorry she doesn't like the GoBots, but that's just that. You're not going to find a girl like that. Uh, you're going to be in the cast. Dan, do your values like... align? Like, do you what you both want for the future, does that align at all? I mean, I... How can it when she's already got a bunch of kids? I, and I know she doesn't want more. Good point. Do you so want much. kids? I mean, kind of. I was just with my nephews this whole weekend, and it was fucking awesome. I'm the baby whisperer. Maybe. Did you guys hook up after the date? No. I was, it was so bad that I couldn't even, like, I could barely see out of my mm. eyes. Mm. Mm. Oh, the allergies the kicking fucked in. fucked up his eye. Mm. Allergies yeah, yeah. are such cock blocks, man. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I think this is worth going through. It to, I mean, you've been dreaming about other girls since you were 12 years old. And now it's like working the, at it's, Pizza oh, yeah. Hut. She's been demystified. Like, the, the fantasy has been popped. I think it's still worth it for the hookup. If you've spent ha- more yeah. than half your life thinking about yeah. it. Yeah, you've you got to complete like, the story. You your know? exit line can definitely be, like, I want to have kids. And, like, I want to start a family with some le- someone and clearly, like, you've already done you already that. you figure out how to break up with her. Like, I am. Hey, you know. I'm planning. I'm planning an exit. Actually, I'd like it better if you just said, I'm sorry, I just don't give a shit about the British royals. I have to leave you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can't can, oh, no. you think it is. No, yeah. okay. so can I add another wrinkle to the foil? All right. Okay. So she works uh, at the courthouse, and I work. Ugh, red uh, flag. And, no, no, no. So, like, I work at a place that I go to the courthouse, like, once a hot? or Three times a day, so I see her like what? five, six times like a day. Okay. Wait, why are you so, going like, to the courthouse five times a day? Are you a convict? Are you a cop? Oh, no, I'm a title officer. Oh, is that you? I used to work. Title? I used to work at a title insurance agency. I worked there nine months. I still have. I left like I had no fucking clue what is went the title on there. sex offender. <laughs> <laughs> Great, I knew what it's title. Not like, bad, Chrissy. I don't know. Okay, It'll be free once I get fucking my license. So you were really oh, crushing on this girl, but now that actually you know her, you're like, yeah, okay. Yeah, like once I see the like the you know the grass is definitely not greener; it's yellow and fucking patchy and stretched out from three kids. Yeah, well, and smells like cat food. Is, well, is the is the illusion <laughs> completely destroyed at this point after this one date? <laughs> the grass nah, is stretched but I mean, out. It's definitely not. Like I don't think I'd want to date her. Hmm. <laughs> the grass has hasn't been mowed in years. All right, so Dan, what's your question? Like, what do you want? I think like, you've made up. It sounds like mind. yeah. It sounds like you know it's, it like gonna it's go down. Gonna what, what's your question? So I'm a, is it expert. even worth like a one and done that I have to see her all the time, or is that gonna be way too fucking awkward? Oh, how, you should fuck her and too? make it even more awkward. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the yeah. She owes it to you after her cats gave you allergies. You know, right. right. <laughs> Pretend you're into all of her shit and fuck her, and then break. Uh, Rub a bunch yeah. of cats on your face to get the immunity going, and just go for it. You know. Yeah, it seems like Maybe she already had. Maybe fuck a few cats first. Actually, cat bukaki. Yeah, bukaki. Cat bukaki. Like she had deal breakers already going for her, and then like her interests kind of like pushed you over the edge. Oh yeah, for sure. Like nothing. Like we like. Seriously, nothing alive. Ugh. That sucks, but I guess that's the fucking break. What? When, when what are you into, play. Dan? Like, like, um, 
Yeah, what would uh, you I'm want? Into. What would you want a girl to be <laughs> into? Your ideal chick. And then I'll tell you where uh, to go. Oh, well, she hosts the wet spot. Like, <laughs> I do. Wants to golf in her spare time. Golf. <gasps> Whatever. Idea. Amy golfs. Wait, she's with somebody. Okay, so you golf. What else? Uh, lift weights. Uh, yeah, so meet some chicks through. at the gym. Came out again. Well, so so I, I see hot chicks at the gym, but they're all like, I mean, I'm fucking dumb whores. College. Listen, that's perfect. Dan. They're too dumb and young to know any better. Yeah. And you don't want the chick that you're with to like the stuff that you like. If you like golfing, you don't want them anywhere near a golf course. That's mm. your escape. Mm. Like he's like, oh, I wish I, I could golf with my girlfriend. Sure. No. Horrible. I think you I should have, try to talk to girls at the gym. Place, it's about the most miserable thing. You're yeah. definitely not wrong. All right. uh, you need to have a very unprofessional relationship with a caddy, you know? Mm. Those are men, usually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of these female caddies. Andrew's advice, become a gay man. Try to become gay. Hey, it worked for me. Um, yeah, uh, I think if you if you lift weights, having a girl who's into exercise also could be... It's always good. Missy it's B, good. I believe, is into exercise. Maybe you could date her. Oh, yeah. Or just linger outside, like, yoga classes. Yeah. <laughs> and just yeah. sort of wait. The stock chicks who go to yoga. Just hang, hang like out hang at golf out. courses without your clubs, you know? Yeah. Be ready to pounce. <laughs> when they do be the little... there with a coconut water and just like look for a right when they're in bitch. downward dog be yeah. ready to pounce is there anyone who has worse advice for dating than attractive girls <laughs> attractive girls have I the don't know let's find dating. one like, like oh I don't know just like show up where they are and then they'll ask you out like no that's not how that works at all well, that's Chris. part of it it's I think part of like yeah, all the girls that that are gonna align with your values is is like yeah. going to well, those all places. the good dating advice like only applies if you think the guy is attractive right. if the guy's attractive and you're into them then it's like yeah come out to me in the gym but yeah. if it got if you don't like the guy and they come to you in the gym like this fucking rapist what's he doing I, if someone came up to me in the gym i'd be like "Ooh, someone finds me hot i would feel like boosted i would feel what good. if it's just like a real gross fat guy you know he's like hey i couldn't help noticing how many weights you are lifting today on the elliptical would you like to go out for Andrew, some you don't marmalade lift on the elliptical you don't, lift, <laughs> you don't lift weights on the elliptical Lifting. I, if someone came up to me in the gym, yeah. I'd be like, ooh, someone finds me hot. I would feel, like, boosted. I would feel what good. What if it's just, like, a real gross fat guy, you know? He's like, hey, I couldn't <laughs> help noticing how many weights you are lifting today on the elliptical. Would you like to go out for Andrew, some marmalade? you don't marmalade? lift weights on the elliptical. You don't, lift, <laughs> you don't lift weights on the elliptical. But that's yeah, you, the scene I'm setting, you know? <laughs> you just do 50 I'm sorry, I'm, I don't Whoa. know much about working out. Impressive. I'm kind I'm a beginner. Oh. Um, but I was. You're more into resistance bands because well, your wrist Andrew's is covered in them. Andrew's pretending to be a creepy guy who doesn't work out right now. <laughs> it's actually making me more attractive. <laughs> He's showing such range here. <laughs> but it's good that Dan's in the gym. Like that's you know you can't change your face, but you can like change your body a little bit. But I mean, as far you can't as get uh, punched, Dan's though, Dan's ugly. No, but you just said. The advice that I'm saying doesn't even right. work unless the woman finds you attractive. Well, here's the, like, he doesn't, yeah, he, do, right. he doesn't like that she's into something like the British Royals. So what type of things like that would she, would you want a girl to be into? Well, I mean, it's, it could be some innocuous shit, but just not something that I think is just so fucking stupid. Like, yeah, who cares? I agree that that's if really stupid. If you British, and like, then it would make sense. But like, we live in rural Montana. Forty fucking four miles from the Canadian border. It's like border, a fantasy. And yeah. Town of eight thousand. How many kilometers are you from the Canadian border? <laughs> I still am like Seven? annoyed that you don't think I would have heard of your town. <laughs> it's called Haver. Have you ever heard of it? Haver. Yeah. You brought her. You have. Well, there are two types of towns: the havers and the, the no havers. The, ha the havers so and the have-nots. <laughs> That's why he's dating a woman with three kids who's into happened. the British Royals. He just wants to have her. Yeah. All right, thank you guys. Have a good night. All right, all right. <laughs> and, and, put it in her butt and call it a day. Yeah, yeah. Put it in her butt. Call it a day. It sounds like sh you're just not, your values don't align. She sounds a little slow. She doesn't sound intellectually curious. I think you yeah. can deal with somebody with kids, but it doesn't. It just sounds like she. Might be a dummy. It doesn't have a lot going on upstairs. Um, yeah. Well, sh yeah. You should look for she a girl cats years there. younger than you. Mm. Hit on some of these college chicks at the gym. Yes. So, and and no, groom them. That. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> I don't need a groom. Be the girl like, who's so 15 and wait three years. No, like 18. <laughs> it's like, make yeah. sure they're legal adults. Hey, and you guys need them. help with your homework? I have a, a degree. 
What's the age yeah. in Montana? Does anybody know? I'd have to age of consent? Of heads, probably it, Drew. Probably ten. Yeah. Uh, for <laughs> probably ten. For, yeah. hu- for human or deer? As young as as old as they can work on a farm. That's when they. Uh, Here. Yeah. Well, that's like six, bud. <laughs> Younger. Sixteen in Montana. No. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my God! Why aren't we all there? Comp- Who loves your oyster? Compound Media next year moving to Montana. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, new studio. With three kids, what are you- Actually, this is real confidence inspiring. I didn't know any male Compound Media listeners thought the college girls were too young for them. <laughs> See? <laughs> Well, no, no. So, like, I'm a 30 year old who doesn't work on the railroad. I don't net like 140 fucking thousand dollars. That's what college girls want. No. Oh, that's college girls don't even know what no. that is. Why do they, they want shitty football players? I, you don't know how small my town is. <sighs> that's crazy. It is crazy in Montana. You need to find some de- women with low standards. Are there any? Are there any open mics near you? Yeah. <laughs> are there uh, any elk there walking around? Who claims that he's friends with Bill Burr, who does open mics, but he's fucking delusional. So no. It's kind of what the most desirable man in Montana, either a football player or a guy who works on the railroad. <laughs> I like that he said, like, working on the railroad is like, that's like the ultimate. Yeah. <laughs> well, didn't he say he works on the railroad? I'm in a chain gang. Oh, he said, wait, wait, he's, he said we keep, not like I think we keep talking over road. him. I think we would know him yeah. already if we just would, like, <laughs> it's, we get excited and we interrupt. Wait, Dan, you do work on the railroad or you do not? No, 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 I don't. I don't. Okay. So, like, you could have a high school degree and you can make, like, $150,000 for being basically, you know, someone who has a fucking IQ of 83. Then do that! What are you complaining? Well, that sounds amazing! Do that, you can be an idiot and make a lot of money? Then do that! This pen is basically well, like see-through. That's, well, and I was a teacher. That was also a bad idea. Mm-hmm. All right, Christy was like, you let's like listen a to the guests to get to know him. Oh, wow, this pen looks pretty. <laughs> You sound like kind of a catch, Dan. It seems like you... You sound like kind of a catch. You from Montana. Like he sounds catch. like a Montana yeah. catch. It sounds like this fantasy woman from high from school... Montana is not, yeah. It's not what you thought. Yeah, I would say like bang her till it stops being interesting. And then just always cast a wide net. Hit on the girls at the gym. Um, you know, lurk outside the yoga class. Hop on that railroad. Get a Do job. A at, different things. Get a job at the railroad. Talk to people behind you at, at the coffee line. I don't know. Lurk. Do online like stuff. <laughs> and then get a job at the railroad if all else fails. And then tell the police well, Chrissy Mayer told you to stalk yeah. people. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I feel right. like, I feel like we didn't fix him. Just All right, let's hang in. up. Let's try the next one.